There are growing fears riots will reignite in France during the Rugby World Cup as frustrated citizens seize the opportunity to publicise their grievances. But World Rugby is adamant safety and security are the top priority ahead of the kickoff this weekend. Europe correspondent Lisette Raymer reports. Where the All Blacks go, security now follows. Armed police, undercover and otherwise, on the job to ensure the team can focus on the game and experience only the very best of France. I'm arriving in Lyon and getting around the place here. It's an awesome, awesome place. Looking forward to exploring it. A glowing review for a country reeling from a year of bad PR. France has been overrun with anger and anarchy. Violent protests against a rise in pension age dominated the start of 2023 and were dwarfed in July by riots over police racism. Looting and arson led to 4,000 arrests and more than a billion dollars worth of damage, including on the country's most famous shopping strand. Was it frightening? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Miriam Suzuki has worked for 20 years at this pharmacy on the Champs-Élysées and says security has improved ahead of the tournament. Now it's good. Now it's very good. <laughs> but a recent survey found 58% of French people don't trust their government to ensure safety during the rugby or next year's Olympic Games. I'm worried most for the night, I think. French debt surpassed three trillion euro for the first time this year. And there are concerns that the public resentment over just how much taxpayer money has been invested in the Olympics and the Rugby World Cup could reignite the riots. I think yes, but I don't want it. We are tired. Yeah, there's still uh, a fear that there might be some protests during the event and it would ruin the thing. There's going to be such a big audience watching France that it's quite a, uh, the, the best occasion possible to have like, to protest and to say we, we want some things. Last year, a football final at Stade de France ended in a near-fatal crowd crush with thousands of ticket holders tear gas. World Rugby is adamant fan safety is a top priority and the stadium looks poised to transform into a fortress ahead of the first game on Saturday. But there's no sticky poster big enough to hide the simmering tensions in this country. Well, OK, Lisette, what's it like in Paris at the moment? Do you get a sense of an increased security presence there already? Well, we were here last two months ago, Sam, and that was right in the thick of those riots. The police presence was utterly overwhelming at the time. So by comparison, things are quite calm and quiet at the moment. But we have seen just how quickly this country can mobilise its forces when necessary. And certainly we'd be expecting to see the security presence ramp up in the coming days. 62% of the French don't expect that their government and officials will be able to Hope with things like crowds forcing entry, racist chants or projectiles being thrown. That's extremely worrying. The hope, of course, is that on the backs of that disastrous Championship League final and all the investigations that went into that, that actually France would be the most equipped to handle these large crowds and these massive events. And this is going to be huge. More than 2.5 million tickets have been sold to the Rugby World Cup's 48 games. 600,000 international visitors expected to arrive in this country over the next two months. Our Europe correspondent, Lisette Raymer, there live from Paris. Tenakwe.